Hi everyone, this is Yuri. In this course, I am very excited to teach you how to make really cool paintings from photos or AI images using new generative field tool in Photoshop. Look how realistic oil paintings or watercolor or crayon or other media you can simulate using this tool. However, you need to know how to use generative fill, especially for photo painting. And you need to know how to do it right, so you could achieve desirable effect, control where to paint in more details, and where to paint in less details, or where just put an abstract painting. And that's what I'm going to teach you here in this course. There are many videos on YouTube explaining how to use generative fill tool for photo painting in a standard way. But the standard technique is quite limited to how you can control the painting process. I developed my own technique, my own way of using generative fill so your outcome painting resembles the look of the source image. During this course, I will share with you my technique, which is pretty much unique and not available anywhere else. This course is quite comprehensive and covers all the steps, all the details of my process. It will also be updated when something changes in uh, generative fill in Photoshop and if there are some improvements or other features related to my technique. Please note that in order to use this technique, you need to have Adobe Creative Cloud account so that you could use the latest version of Photoshop or Photoshop Beta. Both are connected to Adobe Cloud. And this is because the generative fill operates in Adobe Cloud and you also need your PC to be connected to internet during this process. Uh, if you are active Photoshop user or Adobe user, then you probably already have your latest Photoshop with generative fill set up. If you have old version of Photoshop or you don't have a clue about Adobe Creative Cloud or new Photoshop tools, which are only working with the cloud, I will show you how to access the trial version of Adobe Cloud for Photoshop and eventually for this tool. So you could play around with it and feel if you want to subscribe to Adobe Creative Cloud and Photoshop on a monthly basis.